the fucks is rustling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the love and support that you know you've been placing on me as you're giving yourself you know we're you know healing each and every day i'm learning new stuff each and every day to be able to you know elevate ourselves and a better light so we can get closer to our blessings so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please uh drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up to me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the uh video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance or um just need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today uh the meditation music i'm using in the background is called uh prayer music talk to god ask ask your inner self for guidance 417 hertz release emotional blocks so i will post that link in the description box below and my video today is uh twin flame 101 hey Oka's learning to snatch your power back so fast that uh that they'll be checking for those edges like i don't know where my kids got this from i guess i don't know if it's just a southern thing it's like if you're coming at somebody and it you know caught them off guard or you come at them really hard and you know they be feeling like oh lord she done snatched them edges or she came for them edges like people coming for you when you didn't call for them and that's just just like our when I, it's our power our power is our personal situation you know our personal property but a lot of times you know especially in uh really toxic situations you know if you're uh dealing with certain situations that where people feel like they have that power over you to where you know they feel like they can treat you any kind of way talk to you any kind of way you know to allow themselves to look inferior to you you know being able to go through certain situations like that i had to deal with that you know growing up you know um basically it was like nothing really positive came towards you know things being said you know how like your parents will say oh we're proud of you or you know give you encouraging things it was always like it's your fault your fault this your fault you know anything negative you know i'm just like how can a child learn about stuff like that but then oh it got passed down generation 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 but it's like this space and time right now we are learning so much about ourselves we're healing in so many different ways we're ha actually having to look at you know tragic situations in a positive mind frame to where you know what you're like oh, oh no i'm about to take what's mine you know going through my situation I, I you know i gotta give myself a pat on the back you know a lot of times we go through things and we don't get that recognition we deserve you know the angels do it all the time they they congratulate us because they know we have you know we have that power to be able to change ourselves into the people we truly need to be or want to be and you know it's just like when you're at that point where you're like you know when is enough going to be enough you know um i i can't be affected by this situation anymore you know when you when you know you're getting tired of being tired those are the times that you will actually stand up for yourself and know that you're going to change your life for the better you will allow things that that what used to affect you to be able to separate yourself from and take that feeling from that situation it's just like you have to be able to see like anybody who comes up and say anything negative about you we have to understand you know even though it hurts at times when people say certain things about you that's just exactly how they see themselves you know when people can call you out your name and stuff like that i used to hear people say certain things to me and i had to laugh and they said why are you laughing da -da 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 because i don't see myself that way so i mean if that's how you see me that shows a lot about your character you know like i told y'all the other day how people treat you is their karma how you respond to it is yours you know if you know you see yourself as a higher light you know like you're not looking at people in a downward 
situation you know you even can't look at narcs in a situation like that it gets to a point where you actually have pity for folks like that i when i look at certain situations that i have where you know now since i'm fully awake nobody can't pull that wool over my eyes anymore and i feel so good about that and it's just the fact is you ain't even got to call them out on it you can just go on about your business because it's like certain people will be in your life you know when they love hearing about negative situations that you're in or they love the fact is their life is miserable so they allow you to want to have your life miserable too and i said i don't understand people like that because I know if I'm in a bad mood I just stay away from everybody I just don't you know I don't want to have nobody feeling the way I feel because I know that is a horrible feeling you know like I tell y'all a lot of times when I'm up in my feelings or I'm going through a lot and it's not that situation that universe wants me to be able to project towards people I just want to be able to be closed off with myself so I can heal and being able to reflect on what I need to reflect on so I can be able to let it go and make peace with it and that's what we need to do everything that's been placed in our lives has been that tool that is supposed to allow us to be able to grow is that tool to allow us to be able to know that we have that power of way of thinking you know when negative situations want to keep coming back to you you have to be able to convert over the things that you appreciate out of you know out of that negative situation or being able to convert your thoughts into something positive because if you have been through so much which I know a lot of y'all have you know we tend to feel things that are you know um tragic like it can just come out of nowhere because it's like right now with us dealing with the you know the lunar eclipse to just pass a lot of emotions are coming to the forefront it's just like when you're putting cleanser on your face or exfoliating it's like all the dirt and pores and the oils and stuff are coming to the top of your skin like you know negative situations um conditioning that people have placed upon you you know past experience all these different things are coming up to the surface where they are no longer needed anymore and the universe really wants us to part ways with that and at times it might feel like it's hard because i know there are some times that you know i have negative situations that want to come back to the forefront and i'm glad that you know i'm like you know this is not how i feel anymore so i'm glad it was brought to my attention but now i want to be able to make peace with it and a lot of times we can get upset and say this person did this this person did that this person did this you know yeah it's a sucky situation i had to look at my situation and not you know um think about a lot of the things that has been placed upon my life you know being able to stand up to my my mom's ex-husband and their family that all the things that they had placed in my life and you know being able to get that closure from them not you know excusing what they did to me because there ain't no way in hell you know but it's just a fact is for me to actually have my peace of mind and knowing bigger and better is coming towards my way i had to be able to close that book on that chapter when it came to them even though when they felt like you know they still had me at the palm of their hands it was more that they were scared of me than anything because they don't know who knows what about my situation who knows um the things that i've said you know what i'm saying because if you know if you deal with narcissistic people they all their image is more than anything they got to be able to have people look at them in this better light when knowing there's an up here doing things to disrupt yours and you know a lot of times we have to be able to make peace with that but we have to also remember whatever you put out is what you get back so it, at times i used to get mad you know and ask god you know this these people kept me from my family they lied to me my whole life they used me you know as an automatic atm to get what they wanted while me and my children suffered why are they not paying for their debt that they have done to me and that's you know when you can be constantly fixated on trying to get revenge you're actually missing out on that healing process you know i have to be able to let go and let god you know i, I can't be keep coming back and you know talking about this saying you know i'm angry you know i can actually make peace with that and being able to say you know i pray for folks like that because they need all the prayer they can get you know because sooner or later you know you can't expose people they'll end up exposing themselves you know like i tell anybody you know there's people that are really close to me that really wants me to have closure and i appreciate that and i just tell them you know it it'll happen when it's meant to happen you know things like that don't go on for too long even though it don't went over almost 40 some years you know things tend to slip up it's just like where we look look at stuff now 
the way it is, you know, for the last couple of years that just passed. There's so many bombs being dropped off on folks about things that, that, you know, all these different scandals is going on where, you know, things are coming to the forefront where people are actually seeing the truth about certain folks that they've been hiding and doing so long. And you know how certain people can be when they feel like they done got along with it for so long. They slip up when they get too comfortable with it. You know, so when different things come on like that, you can't allow the people that has been placing all this heavy, you know, conditioning on you to keep allowing them to do that. If you already know that they're not in your life anymore, you have to be able to let that go. You know, if you're heading towards big and beautiful things, and I know it's a lot of people that I've seen that are coming up into their blessings and stuff like that, and certain things have popped off in their life, and, um, and it is just the fact is when when all these things happen and that you know they'll bring them back you know there'll be things that have been brought up or whatever and they're like you know what i don't have any ill will towards so and so this that and the third you know i got bigger and better things going on in my life where i can't even be mad at that you know people make mistakes which they do you know what i'm saying it's like you know you can change yourself for the better you can't do that with the next person you know no matter what they have done okay they have done but if you know you're heading towards big beautiful black lessons like that you can't allow yourself to keep dwelling in that same air air, you know in that anger in that chapter it's like this is your time to be able to snatch that back and allow whatever situation they try to place upon you they can't they no longer can be able to have that that you know that hold on you anymore you know i have to go through all that and it's just like when i can sit back and look i'm like whoo I didn't think I was going to ever heal from this or, ooh, you know, I, you know, I thought, you know, something going to really get drastic because I didn't know, you know, the next time if I would have been able to see my mom's ex-husband and his wife and just knowing his wife had something to do with that. I mean, I'm so proud of myself because the thoughts that was going on through my head, I, I'll be quick to tell y'all, you know, don't put your hands on those senior citizens, but that... Oh, I'm so glad I didn't go with the old Rosalind because it would have been, you know, it would have been some problems. But it's just like when I see them now, it's just like, man, y'all used to act like big boogeymans. Now I'm just like, boo bye. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm doing my thing now. You know, I came to terms with it because it's just like when you when you know you're stepping up into things that is really going to bless you in so many ways, you can't have that anger in your heart. You won't truly be able to. Uh, grasp that concept of blessings coming to you you know um being able to heal from that you know not keep constantly bringing that situation up you know i can really feel blessed about that you know and it's just like it really took me a long way to be able to do that and be able to find that peace of mind because that's what you truly deserve that i know that was what i truly deserve and there'll be people that'll come back into my life and certain things it's just about the energy they give off and people don't realize because it's like a lot of times you know when people understand that you're an empath or they could be an empath as well and they feel like oh you know if they don't say certain things or if you don't talk to them or communicate they can still be slick behind you know and doing their little dirt you know what i'm saying but it's not they don't even realize it's just like when they even on constant communication with you that energy is going to come through especially if you fully awaken and you're paying attention you have to be able to not just pay attention to their words but you have to be able to think about the actions that comes behind what they communicate with you about so you have to be able to stay woke on certain things like that because the universe will allow you to be able to peep game out when game is trying to be thrown at you and it's just like you know i don't even get in my feelings about it that's why i know I've evolved so many so much you know because I used to always have to have the last word and sometimes the best way to reply to a fool is not even replying at all you know you can still keep it cordial you can still keep it short and sweet but you already know this is your season you know whoever has that powerful hold on you to where you want to continue to keep talking about certain things and I had to be able to stop that myself because it's like you know if you forgive certain things and you're trying to be able to make peace with it you can't be you know, bringing it up because, you know, people will come back and tell me, you know, oh, Rosalind, you know, this is a messed up situation, what they did you. I said, you know what? It's all right. You know, things is done in the dark. It'll eventually come to the light. You know, everything, ha- everything has reason for happening the way it happens. I can't stop 
what I got going on because of what people try to place in my life. You know, people, when they feel like they have a power over you and they don't want you to succeed, you know, it is like that at times. People throw everything in your power to make sure you can't succeed. And, you know, when they got a lot of stuff going on in their life and they want to make sure they can be a part of your downfall. And I'm just like, why are people like that? But then, you you know, you don't have time, you know, as, as us as hey Oakers, we're trying to figure that stuff out. But you can't have... We're investing our times in the wrong thing. So you have to be able to keep working on yourself, doing what you need to do. You know there's blessings that you are really trying to achieve at that point in time. You can't be worrying about Tom, Dick, and Harry over here and why they're trying to keep drama up with you. Allow them to be able to keep that drama up with themselves. And you keep on, you know, you keep on healing your way the best way you know how. You know, people like that, you really have to pray for it and keep doing you because it's just the fact is if you ever want your blessings to ever come in, you can't be holding that, you know, pointing fingers and stuff like that but this is your season to be able to snatch back that power that is rightfully yours you got to be able to claim what's yours don't allow other people to be able to label you or be able to place you in a certain term where they see fit you have to be able to place yourself where you need to be so i hope you were able to resonate with the content in my video much love to you as well i hope all is well with everybody I would love uh, to give a post notification shout out to Katie Strait. Um, Miguel, much love to you as well. So I will go ahead, you know, drop me a line like I told y'all before. I got me a um, group page on Facebook. I said, I'm going to try to say this in every video. So in case you would love to subscribe, you know, subscribe, you know, send out for it. You know, it's a platform where you can be able to share things that, you know, that has impacted your life in a positive way or certain things that you have grew from. You know, everything to keep positive, uplifted. If you want to ask questions like, is anybody else going through certain things like this? just to see if you're alone in certain situations or even if your curiosity of you know just something that is in your life that is impacted or even you know you, you can share positive posts you can you know share links of certain things that might occur in the universe that might affect us in different ways all those things is called uh, a health and spiritual journey and you know it's a private group so where all of us can talk amongst each other and keep up an open discussion so like and subscribe let me know if you uh resonate and um drop me a line i said drop me a line let me know if you resonate share give me a thumbs up like and subscribe and hit that bell and i will see you on my next video i hope you have a great safe weekend be responsible for everything you do know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way much love peace be well